Remember this, the person who sows sparingly will also reap sparingly, but the person who sows generously will also reap generously. For much of my life, one of the areas that was the hardest for me to trust God in was my finances. I always thought to myself, if I received more money, then I would give more money. But the Apostle Paul shows us here in this verse that it's the opposite, that we give more and we receive more. Now, what he's not saying here is that when you give financially to God, that God is obligated to give back to you financially. Matter of fact, that's limiting God. Rather, it's showing our trust and our faith that God is faithful to his word. We give to God generously because when we give, we receive far more than the money that we gave to God. So what do we do with this? Trust God, especially in the area of our finances. You see, God's blessings are not limited to just money. They go so far beyond peace, joy, strength, encouragement, wisdom, uh, love. It's God's blessings are so vast that we can't even comprehend them. But what we must do is we must trust him. 